Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this part of the course, I'm going to talk about how to build your own ARIMA models. ARIMA models are some of the most powerful models of forecasting. And previously, we saw ARIMA models of the form P, D, and Q, where D shows the number of differences a time series requires to be stationary. And here, YT prime means that uh, we are using the difference data and then we use uh, p lags of uh, the AR process that is we use uh, p lags of uh, YT series uh, on the right hand side and then we use uh, q lags uh, of uh, the error that is why these models are called ARIMA PDQ. And uh, in the last part of the course I talked about this Arto ARIMA function which chooses the values of P, D and Q using an automated function. Now as with any automated function, using this auto arima function could be dangerous because we are letting computer decide about picking up these three values, the value of P, D and Q. So sometimes it may be better to choose our own values of P, D and Q and we may be able to fit a better model and improve our forecast. And this is the goal that I'm going to achieve in this part of the course. I'm going to talk about how to pick our own P, D and Q values. Uh, actually, we are already familiar with the picking uh, D. That is, uh, we already know that uh, we need to take uh, differences of our time series until we achieve uh, stationarity. And the purpose of uh, this section is to talk about how to pick uh, the value of uh, P and Q. That is how many lags of uh, YT we should be including in our model and how many lags of the forecasting error we should be including uh, in our model. And to achieve this task, I'm going to talk about autocorrelation function or correlogram that we talked about earlier. And I'm going to introduce you to a new concept of a partial autocorrelation function. We'll see that both of these concepts are somewhat related. And based on the autocorrelation function and partial autocorrelation function, we'll be able to pick value of the AR process and MA process. That is, we'll be able to pick P and Q and we'll build our own ARIMA model. So in the next video, I'll talk about the difference between the autocorrelation function and the partial autocorrelation function. And then we'll pick the value of P and Q using these two concepts. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.